Hey everyone, it's Christina Rilo here with your weekly love letter, and I am over the moon excited to be broadcasting to you today from ta-da, the beautiful Kripalu Retreat Center in the Berkshires, Massachusetts. I've never been here before, but Amy Ehlers, my, my self-love sister, and I are here for the weekend doing Inner Mean Girl Reform School Live. And OM to the G, have, I think we've reformed over 50 Inner Mean Girls, and we haven't like we haven't even begun yet. And it's just like you can see them running down the halls and, and women transforming in, you know, in front of my eyes. And my heart has just been... Gosh, so um, so full of of wow, of the the wow of what happens when you get people into a room and they start to out that inner critic, which we call the inner mean girl or the inner mean dude, and really get it out of their system so they can hear the voice of their inner wisdom. It's so one of the things that we're talking about this month, we're not just talking about, we're living in the love club, is self-trust. And I'm also really sharing with everybody that I'm talking to, focusing on that one branch of self-love each month. And today I wanted to share with you a question that keeps coming up over and over and over again that I think is a question that you've probably had as well. It's the most common question that Amy and I get whenever we do this work around inner mean girls and inner mean dudes. And the question is this, how do you tell the difference between the voice of your inner critic fear, your inner mean girl, your inner mean dude, and the voice of your inner wisdom. Because sometimes when it comes to self-trust, right, if the voice in your head is the voice of fear, it can be really convincing. And it will lead you right down the track to your misery, to your suffering, or delaying your destiny. And then there's this other voice, right, the voice of your inner wisdom that is very clear about what you need, that, that isn't afraid to go against, con against conventional wisdom, that is attuned to your heart and to your soul and always leads you into the most direct path of your destiny, even though it doesn't necessarily look from a rational perspective like it's the fastest way or the best way to go. And so here is um, my answer to that question. It's all about getting in tune with your body. Because here's the thing, your body doesn't lie. Your body will tell you the truth. And the difference between when, and I'm just going to stand up here for a second so Noah can just gonna move the camera because he's like, she wasn't supposed to move, is when your inner mean girl or inner mean dude or fear is running the show, you will viscerally feel in your body anxious or you'll feel you know, you'll be all contracted, you'll feel pressure, you'll feel fear in whatever way it shows up for you. You'll, you'll feel like, you know, your, your head will get all confused, or you'll feel anxious in your heart, or you'll feel pain in your belly, or you'll feel, you know, tightness in your jaw, or you'll have just overall anxiety. It feels spinny, is the word that Amy said today, very technical term. It feels spinny. That's when you know that there's something going on that's connected to fear, because your inner critic, your inner mean girl or inner mean dude, it's just fear's Halloween costume. That's all it really is. So that voice that's coming through is trying to say to you, no, don't do that because I'm afraid, right? And when you act out of fear, you know it doesn't end up good. So just think of a place right now where you're not sure whether it's the difference between the voice of your inner critic, your inner mean girl and fear, or the voice of your inner wisdom. Because we're going to apply some self-trust here, okay? So go ahead, choose a place where you're waffling, you're feeling some anxiety, you're not sure, you're feeling tense or pressure about, pick it, got it? Relationship, career, job, whatever, money. Okay, got it? Okay, great. Now I want you to close your eyes. And I want you to take a deep breath in. And out. And really sink into your body. And allow your body to just be absolutely present. And then ask yourself the question, what does your inner wisdom know? Amy teaches this in Inner Mean Girl Reform School as part of a process that she teaches called the three-step wake-up call process. And this process, and you can just tell, like the energy that I have right now in my body is calm. See, when your inner wisdom is speaking, you feel calm, you feel grounded. You may still be uncertain in, in a perspective you don't know what's gonna happen, but that spin isn't there anymore. And that doesn't mean that the voice and the truth is always gonna be easy. Sometimes it's gonna tell you something hard you gotta do, oftentimes. 
But when you can feel it in, you know, and you feel grounded in it, you feel it in your belly in a way that it really sinks in. You can feel it in the depths of your heart, even if it's scary, even if it doesn't make rational sense, you have to do it. You have to. Because you are counting on you to love yourself so much that you go for your life, you create the life that your heart and soul are here to have. And if you're not willing to do that for yourself, love, no one else can. So whatever it is that you're afraid to move on, that your inner critic's got you scrambled up in that, come over here, sending you some of this Kripalu yogic energy, sense into your body and make the choice from there and dare to leap into faith. Building your self-trust muscles right here from Kapralu, sending you all much love.